Benevolent mayor folk, welcome. It's wonderful to see all of you here. Ever since the sea witch robbed us of your dear queen, celebrations like these have lifted my spirits. Thank you. Presenting the court composer, Horatio Thelonious Ignatius Crustaceous Sebastian. Oh, sire, you're gonna love this number. I wrote it for my star pupil. And who might that be? Your youngest. Such a voice, that child. Notes as clear as ice, pitch as pure as water. Why, I haven't heard such magnificent sound since the queen. May she rest in peace. Oh, you're gonna be so proud. If only that girl would show up for rehearsals once in a while. Well, what are we waiting for? Let the festivities begin. Not again, child. I was counting on you most of all. Ariel, where in the name of Poseidon is that girl? Hey, Ariel, there you are. Just look, Flounder. The sun, the sand. Isn't it the most beautiful place you've ever seen? I don't know. Ariel, I'm not sure we ought to be up here. Don't be such a guppy. A guppy? I'm as brave as you are. I'm not afraid of anything. What about sharks? Where? Oh, Flounder, you really are guppy. I'm not. Oh, you'll never guess what I found today. Look, have you ever seen anything so wonderful in your entire life? Wow, cool. What is it? I don't know, but I bet Scuttle will. Come on, I'll race you. Hey, wait for me. Scuttle. Mermaid off the port bow! Ariel! How you doing, kid? Whoa! What a swim! Scuttle, look what we found! More human stuff, eh? Let me see! Can you tell us what it's for? Wow! This is special! This is very, very unusual! What? What is it? It's a... Uh... Dingle hopper! A dingle hopper? Oh, these babies are fantabulous! Absolutely indispensary! When it comes to dingle hoppers, I'm a regular encyclopedia! Does this thing really work? Sure thing, kid. And I ain't just blowing smoke. <laughs> it makes music the likes of which you never heard. Music? Oh no, the concert. My father's gonna kill me. The concert was today? I completely forgot. Come on, Flounder. Thank you, Scuttle. Anytime, sweets. Anytime. Oh, sorceress of the sea. Oh, beauty of the brine. Hail to the sea witch. Hail to Ursula. Flotsam, my pet. Jetsam, my darling. Come to me, my little sea spies. Mama's feeling woebegone. Banished to the nether regions of the sea. No food, hardly any company. I'm simply wasting away. Poor Ursula. Yes, poor me. What news do you have? King Trident and the Merfolk are celebrating your defeat. And he blames you for the Queen's demise. Of course he does. Use a little black magic to help out a few Merfolk. And this is the thanks I get. Well, now it's time to turn the tides on Triton. We just need to find his Achilles heel. A weakness that will crack his armor. The King is terribly devoted to his daughters. Especially the youngest, with a beautiful voice. But she missed the celebration. Hmm. Apparently, Ariel takes her gift for granted, just like her mother did. A woman doesn't know how precious her voice is until she's been silenced. Silenced? You two, find out what this girl really wants, then lure her here to my lair. I'll whip up a little spell to make her dreams come true. Once we have her trapped, Triton will rush to her rescue. And then, my dears... Yes? The Trident, crown and throne will all be mine!
Daddy, forgive me. I'm so sorry. I just forgot. As a result of your careless behavior... Careless and reckless behavior? The entire celebration was... Ruined! Completely destroyed! This concert was going to be the pinnacle of my distinguished Sebastian. career. Sebastian! But I didn't mean to. Ariel, listen. You've been given a gift. Your mother's voice. It's a wondrous talent, one that demands stewardship and care. So please, dear child, for the sake of her memory... I know, Daddy, I know. It, it wasn't even Ariel's fault. We were going to come back straight away. But the seagull started going on and on about human stuff. Seagull? Human stuff? You went up to the surface? Um, nothing happened. You could have been seen by one of those barbarians! Daddy, they're not barbarians! They're dangerous! Nets, harpoons, you're my youngest! I'm old enough to look after myself! As long as you live under my reef, you'll obey my rules! If you just listen to me for once! That's the last time you're ever swimming to the surface! Understood? You're so unfair! <sighs> She's stubborn as a barnacle. Teenagers, give them an inch and they swim all over you. I can govern a kingdom, but I can't even control my own daughter. Maybe I was too harsh. Nonsense, sire. If you ask me, you haven't been tough enough. I haven't. Ariel needs constant supervision. Someone to watch over her to keep her out of trouble. That's not a bad idea. I'd say it's a right good one. And you are just the crab to do it. What? You heard me. From now on, Ariel is your responsibility. Mine? But... But your majesty, she's a clever mermaid. I'm just a crustacean. Surely you ought to pick someone higher on the evolutionary ladder. If only I could make my father understand. I just don't see how a world that makes such wonderful things could be so bad. Sick of swimming out of the sea? Hmm. Tell me, child, you got trouble on the mind? Sebastian? What is all this? Um, just a few knickknacks I've collected, that's all. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. If your poor father knew about this place, he'd... You're not going to tell him, are you? Oh, please, Sebastian, he'd never understand. Ariel, down here is your home. The human world, it's a mess. Life under the sea is better than anything they got up there. Now, suppose I don't want to be a king. I swore an oath to your dear father on his deathbed that I'd turn you from roustabout into royal and have you married to a princess Ugh. by the next birthday, which is just three days away now. Did you ever try to take a princess sailing? It's a joke. Their dresses get caught in the rigging and most of them can't even swim. You know, there's more to a woman than her flutter kick. Our kingdom needs a queen. Where am I going to find her, Grimsby? A girl who's as carefree and alive as the sea itself. Where? Wow! It's too much to hope for, isn't it? Somewhere out there, a girl who's a match for a guy like me. Perhaps you're not looking hard enough. I've never seen a human this close before. Me neither! Shh! I thought you were an expert. On their stuff, sure, but... Yikes! The sight of them! Hideous, ain't it? I don't know, Scuttle. I think he's really handsome. Trust me, Grimsby. When I come across the girl of my dreams, it'll hit me like lightning. Hurricane are coming, Captain. King Trine must be angry indeed. Bend the hatches, then everyone below deck, and quickly! Whoa! The wind's on the move here! Careful, Scuttle! There we are! Shit, badly! Oh, good heaven! Secure the rigging! Eric, take the wheel! Help! Matt overboard! Prince Eric! Was I too late? It's hard to say. Oh, I... I can't make out a heartbeat. 
No, look. He's breathing. Oh, Scuttle, just look at him. He's so beautiful. Prince Eric! Ahoy! Somebody! Anybody! On your way, kid, before we've discovered. Oh, Prince Eric, are you all right? Get away, you filthy bird! Ah, ah, ah. A girl rescued me. She pulled me right out of the surf and she was singing. There, there now. You took a terrible tumble, dear boy. That voice. Oh, I can't get it out of my head. Come with me. A night of sleep and you'll be as good as new. I must find her and thank her for saving my life. You've heard too many tall tales, my boy. No, she was real. Yes, Prince Eric, of course she was. As real as a mermaid on the rocks. about Ariel. That's who. What about her? She sure is acting fishy lately. I'll say. Swimming in circles, chasing her tail. That girl is up to her gills in something. In love? My little Ariel? So that explains it. Just a minute there, Flounder. Who? Me? You know Ariel as well as anybody. Who's the lucky mare, man? Gee, I don't know. I didn't even know it was love until the second chorus. Sebastian, any ideas? I've tried to stop her, sire, but she doesn't listen. I tell her, Ariel, you've got to stay away from those humans. They're nothing but trouble. Humans? What about humans? Who said anything about humans? Sebastian, have you been keeping secrets from me? Where is that girl? And now, let me see. What did Scuttle call this one? Is it a Diddy Wumper? A Thumb Doodle? Whatever it is, Prince Eric held it in his own strong, beautiful human hands. Ariel, what is all this? Daddy, they're my- Human junk? No, treasures. Did you save a human from drowning? He would have died. That savage brute could have killed you. And it's my job to keep you safe from harm. But he didn't frighten me. He made me feel- Wonderful. Besides, I'm not a child anymore. No? Well, you're certainly talking like one. He's a human, and you're a mermaid. It doesn't matter. You don't understand. I wish Mother were here. Ariel, I miss your mother just as much as you do. But I'm still the king. And you are not going to surface ever again. Am I clear? I'm just trying to protect her, Sebastian. She'll be all right, sire. Just give her some time. I hate him. Ariel, don't say And that. some friend you turned out to be, spilling everything. I couldn't help it. He had my claws in a clamp. I don't need you. I don't need any of you. Go away. I said go away. I don't belong here. If only I could be up there. Oh, sweet misunderstood child. She has a very serious problem, hasn't she? Who will ease her woes and worries? Who will help her get her man? Perhaps the, the sea, sea witch, witch can. Who are... how did you... He's been dying to help you. Ursula, help me? Oh, yes. But she can't leave her lair. Then take me to her. Of course. Hello? Ariel, where did you go? Oh no, Sebastian! 
Oh, mistress of the deep, you've a visitor. I don't know if... Now, now. Mustn't get cold fins. Don't be shy, Ariel, darling. I... I shouldn't be here. Mother died because of you. Oh, child. What happened to your dear mother was a terrible, unfortunate accident. Poor soul. An accident? Of course. I did my very best to save her. You did? But father told me... The truth is that the ocean wasn't big enough for both your father and me. So he sent me here. And now I see he's driven you away too. He doesn't understand me. Oh, but I do, Dumpling. We're so very alike, you and I. Gals with an ambition. Now tell me absolutely everything. I'm in love with someone. A human. A prince, I hear. Quite a catch. Well, the answer is simple. You've got to become human yourself. Can you do that? My dear sweet child, it's what I live for. To help unfortunate merfolk like yourself. I have a spell that will turn you into a human for three days. Before the sun sets on the third day, you've got to get dear old Prince to kiss you. If you do, you'll stay human forever. And if I don't? You will turn back into a mermaid, and your soul will be mine forever. Life's full of tough choices, isn't it? Of course, there is one more thing. My fee. But I don't have any... I'm not asking for much. Only your voice. But if I give away my voice, how can I so ever... So how's about it, Cupcake? If I become human, will I ever be able to see my family again? My sisters? Daddy? Now, do you want Princey Poo or not? Five, four, three, two... Yes! Yes, I'll do it! Is that a girl? Now sing! Sing your voice over to me! Are you okay? Oh, child, what have you done? Well, look who got beached. Hiya, Ariel. <gasps> Wait, there's something different about you. <gasps> Don't tell me. It's your hairdo, right? <gasps> You've been using the dingle hopper. Nah? Uh, I can't quite put my foot on it right now. She's got legs, you idiot! Ariel trades her voice to the sea witch to become human! Nah, kid, that's your beautiful pipes! You see? Not a sound! What would her father say? Oh, I'll tell you what her father'd say! He'd say he's gonna kill himself a crab, that's what he'd say! Now, she's got three days to make Prince Eric fall in love with her. And to prove it, he's gotta kiss her! The prince? Well... I'll say! Hey, what if we got... Shoo! Shoo! Ah, ah, ah. Miss, are you alright? You... You seem very familiar. Of course. It's you. I've been looking for you everywhere. What's your name? Sore throat, huh? Oh. You don't speak at all. I'm sorry. For a moment, I mistook you for somebody else. What is it? You're hurt? No. No, you need help? Well, I've got just the remedy. A warm bath and a hot meal. Come on now, the palace isn't far. Way to go, Ariel! That's what I call reeling him in! <laughs> oh, now I gotta follow her. This is gonna get me in real hot water. Can you believe that guy? What a crab! Attention! Attention! La menu possequa! Escargot, lobster biscuit, tuna tartar, 
Bar or Le Macarel Matinon? The things I do for that girl. Over the wall, under the gutter, and through the window. Now, finally, some place that's safe. <gasps> uh oh. Imagine washing up like that on the beach. Must have been a horrible shipwreck. I don't suppose we'll ever know the truth. Why, you can't even speak. Poor dear. Well, never mind. After you scrub in the tub, you're fresh as a daisy in a beautiful new frock. Well, now I'm the one who's speechless. It's been a long time since we dined in the company of such loveliness. Usually it's just me and Grim. He's got to look across the table at my ugly mug. The bath certainly worked as wonders. Your mystery guest is groomed for a groom, you might say. Easy, old boy, easy. She has no voice. Oh dear. My, isn't that unusual? Thank you? Don't tell me she's fond of pipes. Can't say I blame you. It's an antique from Dusseldorf. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, old friend, but it looks like your pipe smoked you. Very amusing, yes. Well, she certainly knows how to make you smile. Come along, Grimsby. Let's leave the young ones alone for a bit. You should see the princesses that Grimsby drags to these dinners. So prim, so boring. But you... So, if you don't mind me asking, what was it? An accident? When you were small? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean... Who needs words, anyway? A smile says just as much sometimes. You're nimble on your feet, aren't you? Well, dancing beats small talk any day. It's the way your legs smile or laugh... It lets you say so many things. Out of the frying pan, into the fire. The things I do for you, young lady. Now, I should march you right back home to your father. So you can be miserable the rest of your life. Oh, it's true. I got no backbone. All right, child, I mean. But we gotta get that boy to kiss you before it's too late. Now, a few pointers from a clever crab to a little mermaid. You gotta bat your eyes like this. Then, you gotta pucker your lips like this. Oh, that's good. You put those two things together tomorrow, and you got that boy in the palm of your hand. No girls ever dared to join me out here. Too afraid they'd muddy up their shoes. But not you. Peaceful, isn't it? Not another living soul for miles and miles. If only... Hi there! What's happening? Nothing's happening! Shh! They spent all morning on horseback, then an afternoon picnic, now this. And not so much as a peck on the cheek. Oh no, there's only one day left. So, how about this weather? We gotta do something, and quick. But what? This could be our last chance. We got to create the right kind of mood. You mean like, a uh, can of light and champagne? Nonsense, it don't take all that. Everything we need, we got right here. Here. Percussion. Strings. Winds. Words. You know, I really ought to know your name. Maybe I could guess. Alexandra. Annabelle. Beatrice. Ariel. Her name is Ariel. Ariel? Ariel! Hey, it's kind of pretty. Okay, Ariel. Oh, no, you don't. Quickly, fuck that kiss. Whoa, what happened? Ariel, are you all right? Well, we ought to get back anyway. Got to rest up for my birthday tomorrow. Old Grimsby's planning a ball to help me find the girl with that voice. 
He wants me married by sunset, or else. <laughs> Oh, Ariel, dearest, I can't believe you've been with us three whole days already. It's been such a treat. Now, the princesses are arriving to sing for Prince Eric, so he can finally choose his bride. You just stand back here with Carlotta whilst royalty mingles. It's sure to be quite a show. These six princesses pose as the most accomplished voices in the land. Tonight, one of you will join Prince Eric on the throne. May the best woman win. Surely one of these lovely voices matches the music in your heart? I wish I could say yes, but she's not here. The sun has nearly set, and your birthday will soon be over. You must choose a mate. Ariel? Oh, dear one. For heaven's sake, child. Quiet, Grimsby. Go ahead, Ariel. Oh, child. Poor lost child. I had so hoped, dear Eric. You might find love somewhere in this room. I have, Grimsby. I've just been too blind to see it. Until now. Come here, Ariel. Can it be? Another contestant? That's the voice. But... Tell her the competition is over. I've already made my choice. Why, look! Such a gorgeous sunset. And on the third day, too. Time's up! You lose! Ariel, what's wrong? Oh no, the worst is happening. I've got to get help. Ariel! My heavens! She's jumped into the sea! I have to go after her! Ariel! I haven't seen you for three days and I'm worried. I thought you might be here. Ariel, I've, I've come to apologize. Most merciful Triton. Where have you been, Sebastian? And where is Ariel? Oh, she'd be so angry if she knew I was here. I entrust my youngest daughter to you, and what happens? She disappears. I ought to have you cracked and shelled. Oh, he almost was. <gasps> Your greatness. What kind of tragedy will it take? A tragedy involving the sea witch. What? Don't be a guppy, don't be a guppy. You see, Your Majesty, these two slippery eels came and took Ariel to Ursula, and she traded her voice for a pair of legs. She bartered away her voice to become human? Yes, and now that child has given up her very soul. Oh, Ariel, what have you done? Come, we must save my daughter. Say goodbye to your prince. You're mine now, mermaid. Get ready to spend the rest of your days as my slave. Ursula! King Triton, you're right on cue. What have you done to my daughter? Nothing. She done it all to herself. Trading her voice away. And for what? Human heartbreak? Give her back to me. Not on your life. It's not my soul you're after. It's my power. Now, which would you rather be? The king of the sea, or a father to his little girl? The trident is a great responsibility, Ursula. Nonsense, trite one. Hand it over. Finally, the ocean belongs to me. Now see for yourself how banishment feels. You there! What's this? A human ship? Ha <laughs> ha! Who are you and what have you done with Ariel? Careful, Princey Poo. The water's looking awfully choppy. Beware, monster! King Triton rules over these seas. Not anymore. I won't let you harm her. Ha 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 ha! Captain, we've got to turn back or she'll put us under. Look out! The shell! You fool! You witch! Not so fast, guppy! Get in the shell! Stop there, sea snake. My voice? Well, look who's talking. No matter. I have what I want now, and you don't. You may have my father's trident, but you will never have his power. Impertinent mermaid. I'll dispatch you just as easily as I eliminated your mother. So father was right. Yes, 
father was right. And you'll soon see just how insignificant the Murphy have become when Ursula's in charge. With Trident in hand, I shall unleash the power of Poseidon to destroy you all! Wait. Oh, no. Stop. I, I can't control it. Ariel, the Trident. No! Ariel, are you all right, child? Yes, thank you for your help. Not such a guppy anymore, am I? Nope. You're the best friends a girl could wish for. Ariel! Daddy, I've caused so much trouble. Can you ever forgive me? Why, I've never been prouder. Somehow, in the blink of an eye, when my back was turned, you grew up. You love him very much, don't you? You belong to his world now. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you so much. Just remember, when you hear the surf roar at night and feel a tingle of salt in the air, it's only your father checking in on his little girl. Ariel, who are you? I'm her father, King Triton. And you're the human who came to her rescue? With all due respect, sir, Ariel is the one who's done the rescuing. The King of the Sea? And she's his daughter? Does that upset you? Heavens no! I'm just relieved she's royalty. Your Majesty, at last I've found someone who makes me eager to seize the future and claim my birthright as king. But if I slip out to the sea sometimes, I hope she'll be there right beside me. May I have her hand? Ariel can speak for herself. She can? Oh, Ariel, it's been your voice all along. <laughs>